Yeah, okay, brilliant, got it. Good evening, and welcome to Megawatt TV, where each week we give you the lowdown on the latest piece of kit from the world of technology and gadgets. Now, we're outside the BBC Television Centre, about to go into the Apple Beat Goes On event, which our informer has just told us is to launch new iPods. Let's see if he's right. So here we are, 10 minutes, 10 minutes before the start of what we think is going to be the new iPod coming from Apple. We're here, we're live, we're getting excited, Apple products coming soon. Right, we've just been told to turn the mobile phone off, so we're going to have to do the rest of it by still cameras. Here are some exclusive shots we've just snapped. That's the Nano, that's the Shuffle, that's the iPod Touch. Wow, it's an iPod Touch. It looks like the iPhone, but without a phone. We've finished up now. Let's go and have a look backstage and play with the products. Excited about buying one of these this summer for the summer holiday? Well, I'm afraid the old, the old news is bad news. That's right, Apple tonight have invented the iPod Nano and changed it for this, a fatter design. You can see it's a lot fatter, thinner, smaller, shallower, etc. Except this has got the same amount of memory as one of these. Now, if we throw this one away and show you the... Uh, show you this in action. Basically the interface has stayed the same but you do have this image here allowing you to see photos and stuff before you view it. Now the screen is really clear, it's a two inch screen which isn't as big as the Creative Zen which was launched last week but it's still quite shiny. Video wise you've got the ability to watch anything that's downloaded and as I say the screen is quite clean and you can scroll through pause play now we're not sure how well it would sit in the hand to be honest it's quite a sort of clasping thing rather than something you could watch sort of this way um, but hey it's the iPod Nano from Apple we hate the fact that everybody feels they can sue YouTube. Come on, just get over it. They do videos, you put them up, there's likely to be stuff that's there that's yours. But you know, it's fun, it's interesting, it's great. Every day I pick up the newspaper or go online and read another story and it's like, so and so, 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 suing YouTube. So, 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 adding to the new YouTube suing case. So, 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 adding to the new YouTube, YouTube suing case. It's just bonkers. I mean, like, let's just, what, let's sue YouTube. That seems like a brilliant idea. Why don't we, oh, why didn't we think of that? As soon as I finish this, oh, I'm gonna go sue YouTube. That seems what everybody else is doing. It's just. Bonkers. It's just stupid. And that's why we hate people suing YouTube. Not going to uh, completely give up on the original iPods that used to hold just a thousand songs when it first launched. Apple have refreshed the model and called it the iPod Classic. Is this it's like the Coke Classic, where it's sort of original flavour but just a new funky metal design? Screen is still the same size. On the memory side of things, it's gone from 80 gig up to 160 gig. That's 40,000 songs, people, and, and 39,000 more than the first iPod when it launched in the, in the late 90s. Other features added include cover flow and this new interface, which gives you the menu system down here, but a series of images here to show what's going on. Now, music-wise, cover flow is here. It's a really nice way of looking at your albums and you can scroll through and then pick the one you want, press the button and away you go. Now this is going to be available from uh, the, next, the next month basically, the next couple of days and uh, that's the iPod Classic. We love MP3 players. Why do we love them? Well, because they just take you to another world, don't they? Your day has been crap, the train's horrible, it smells and everything. You put those little earbuds in and that's it, you're away. Whether it's classical music, rock, yeah, it's quite nice to get some peace and quiet, but there's so many times when you just think, wouldn't that song, if it song played now, it would just say everything about everything that I want to say right now. And that's why we love MP3 players. So here we are, with probably one of the gadgets that you're going to want this Christmas. This is not the iPhone, no, it's the iPod Touch. A super slim, 8mm thick copycat of the iPhone, sans without the phone capabilities. You have built-in wireless, that's what this little black bit is here, and then a touch screen. So all I have to do is tap, you get the music, and I press play, 
and then the music's playing. Now I can move tracks and access albums by just sliding, and the scrolling is just beautiful. It really is crystal. If I go like this, I get cover flow, which is even nicer, and you just can scroll through the albums you want, tap on one you need, press the button, and that's it, it's, a playing, it's playing away. Now, other features of the phone, which if we go back to the home screen, they've added, is Apple have added the iTunes wireless store, which allows you basically to access all six million songs within a catalogue on the fly, as long as you've got a wireless hotspot. So you can also access the web um, by simply just typing in a URL that you need, and then that just, as long as you've got a Wi-Fi connection, just whizzes off and, and goes there. One of the great features, the page access here, we're accessing PocketLint at the moment. If you then want to go in further, all you have to do is just pinch the screen, and then you can move around. And there we go, you see Apple becomes iPod Touch complete with Wi-Fi. It's a really nice feature, and it's certainly, if you can find a Wi-Fi access point, will be a great way of, of getting internet on the go wherever you are with your music player. Quite a strange concept. Now, what's the downsides? Well, there doesn't seem to be many, although those looking for massive amount of storage, as in the iPod Classic, will probably be disappointed by the 16 gigabytes of storage that's available. Other than that, this should be a great gadget for Christmas. we felt, we've groped, we've touched, we've licked even. The new iPod Shuffle, the new iPod Nano, the new iPod Classic, and of course, the iPod Touch. But what do we really think? Well, the iPod Shuffle, there's no change. Just a couple of colorways, really. If you really wanted that green or maybe that product red version, then, you know, that's available from today. The iPod Nano, it's fatter, it's smaller, it's a slinky little machine. It certainly looks better than the Nano of old, but against the Creative Zen, mm, I think the verdict's still out. I think we'd probably still like to see the Zen, to be honest. The iPod Classic, the great thing here, 160 gig, that's 40,000 songs, as we said earlier, which is an amazing feat because it's only nay thick. Really good, the metal makes it a lot better than the thing, but you know, it's just the classic. It's their sort of homage to the old past. The iPod Pod Touch. Now this is the new swanky iPhone-esque device, but without the iPhone, it's really nice, simple to use, really creative. You've got the Safari browser in there, there's Wi-Fi, there's lots of functions. But the catch, 8 gig or 16. For the hardcore music collector, video collector, picture collector, we're wondering how long that 16 gig will last. Now talking to someone at Apple, they said it's early days, it's the start of a beautiful new friendship, a beautiful new relationship. But you know, we always want more, don't we? We want more, and we want more memory. Why can't they have just put 160 gig in there? That would have been brilliant. We would have been screaming from the rooftops of so much memory that we wouldn't know what to do with. Anyway, that's it. That's our verdicts. That's what we think. The, all of them, apart from the touch, will be available probably by the time you watch this, and the touch will be out later in September. Well, that's it for this week. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Why don't you tune in next time for the lowdown on the latest piece of kit from the world of technology and gadgets, plus the usual cornucopia of news, reviews, tips, tricks, and much more. This is Megawatt TV. Thanks for watching.